For the strategy design pattern, we are going to build a validation system similar to Laravel with rules and everything. So inside strategy, I will create a new interface. This is the validation interface. The namespace is strategy. And this is an interface. For the interface, I will have the constructor, so we need a constructor, construct, that will accept the value and the name of the field. We also need a validate method that will return a string. Now let's create the three validation classes. The first one is email. Email will implement the validation interface and because we implement the validation interface we need to implement the constructor and the validate method. We need two placeholders, one for the value and one for the name. Inside the constructor we initialize the value and the name. In order to validate an email, we can use the filter var function. So if not filter var, we pass the email, which is the value, and then we specify the filter, which is filter validate email. So if the email that we have is not a valid email, then we return this name, which is the name of the field, is not a valid email. Otherwise, we simply return an empty string. I will do the same for the numeric validation. Of course, we have to change the name of the class because I just copied that class and the rule also changes. For numeric, we simply have if not is numeric and we pass the value then the message will be this name field is not a valid number. I will copy this class and create the last one which is the required validation. Again change the name of the class and we also change the validation. To validate a required field we can say if str length this value is equal to zero then we say field is required. So these are the three rules, email, numeric and required. Now that we have the concrete implementations, we need a strategy validation class that takes an implementation and calls the validate method. Inside strategy again, we have a new class. This is the validation strategy. And I have a small spelling mistake. This will take an implementation for the validation. So we have the constructor. This validation equals to validation. Of course, the implementation is the validation interface. After we do that, we have the validate method that will return a string and here now we can simply call this validation and we call the validate method on that class. So basically according to the validation we pass, email, numeric or required, they all have a validate method. So what we do in this validation strategy class, we take the implementation and we call the validate method on that class. If it is an email, then this validate will call validate on email. Now inside index I want to run this before we continue. So this is the strategy. Design pattern. First of all we have the request. For the request we have a couple of fields. So the first field has a name, email, it has a value, 
not valid at, so this is not a valid email. And then we have the rules. For the rules, we can say that this field should be an email and required. Again, you can see that this is very similar to what Laravel does. Now, I will copy this field and create two more. This one is price. The value, let's say 1 to 3. It has to be numeric and required. The last one is quantity. For the value, it will just be an empty string. And this has to be a number, so numeric and required. Of course, in order to run and test this strategy design pattern, we need a validator class that will validate the request according to the rules we have specified. So let's create a validator class. For this class, I will have a public static function, validate, that takes the request. We need a place to store the errors and then we'll loop through each field inside the request because remember, each of these is a field. So we have to loop through each field. How we can do that? Very easy for each request as field. And after we loop through each field, we have to take the rules for each field because in the first iteration, we have this field and then I want to take the value of these rules, which is email and required. So we can say rules equals to explode. And what is the delimiter? Well, the delimiter is this pipeline. So this is the delimiter. And then we take the rules. Explode will create a new array. If I print R, rules am i running this no i'm not so let's run this strategy and if i go back now and of course i have to use the validator in order to run this let me just collapse this and go down here and say validator validate and we pass the request we import the class and if i go back as you can see, we get the rules. These are the rules for the first field. The first field, remember, it has email and required, and this is what we get. The second field, it has numeric and required. Again, this is what we have here, and so on. So now that we can also get the rules, we have to loop through the rules. So for each rules as a rule, and we also need a placeholder in order to store the error. And now we say if rule equals to email, then the error is equal to new validator strategy. And I will pass new email. We pass the value of the field and the name of the field because remember for each field we have a name and a value so we can access the field value and the field name after that i just call validate if we do have an error then we will get the error which is this one otherwise we get an empty string now i will do the same for required and numeric. So if the rule is equal to numeric, then new numeric. If the rule is equal to required, then new required. If we do have an error, then we assign the error to the errors array. The format is a bit complicated, but bear with me and we will see why. And after the forage, I want to return the errors. So return errors. Inside index, 
we get the errors and we simply print R the errors. Okay, so now if I go back, these are the errors. So this is how it looks. It is very, very similar to what Laravel does. So the reason why we had this complicated array structure is because we want to get the errors for each field. For the quantity, for example. So this will take the name of the field. In this case, it is quantity. And then we have a new key value pair, which is the errors. So this is what we have here. And then for the errors, we simply push all the errors for that field. So in the case of quantity, we have two errors. Quantity field is not a valid number and quantity field is required. For email, we simply get email field is not a valid email. And for the price, it is actually a number, so it is not empty. So we do not get any error for the price. I believe that this is very close to Laravel. Of course, we need more validation rules, but this is everything to validation and how to do it using the strategy design pattern.